Your older landscape photographs don't just have to sit on a hard drive in your office drawer anymore. They can easily be brought to life inside of On One Photo Raw. From effortless cleanup with powerful retouching tools to quick style and easy adjustments with Super Select AI, Photo Raw is your one-stop shop for fixing and enhancing older landscape images. Let's resize an older landscape photograph and then we'll use some creative editing techniques to fix and enhance. Inside of Photo Raw, we have this older landscape photograph that's quite small, even as a raw file. And it also needs a bit of TLC to really bring it to life. So before we style and modify it, let's actually resize the image up about two or three times the size of its original. That way, if we need to print it or we need to use it for larger digital media, we have all of the pixels and details that we need. So let's grab the photo and we'll head into Resize AI. Instead of Resize AI, let's use the percentage option to enlarge the image to 200% of its original size. That way we have a much larger photo to work with and because I can save the photograph as a DNG file, I can still work with that raw image data whenever I'm editing it. So let's head back and we'll save this And we'll head into the edit module and let's start to fix and enhance. So when it comes to the look of the photograph, let's just crop the image a bit. And I'll fix this crooked horizon line. I'll use the straighten tool and I'll drag it across this horizon line here to make sure everything is nice and level. So in the tone and color pane, let's add in the contrast that we need into the scene. I'll just go into the contrast letter and I'll pull up on that. And that's going to ensure that the image doesn't look flat. And I think around 40 looks great. So let's also boost the midtones up a bit. I think around 10 or so looks nice. And we're boosting those up so that we can see those middle grays within the scene. After that, let's head in and add some whites into the photograph. I think around 10 or so, similar to the midtones, looks really nice. So with the image's tone developed, I'm noticing that there are some blemishes in the sky area. It's incredibly easy to remove those with the retouching tools inside of Photo Raw. So I'm going to grab the healing brush, which I can grab by hitting Q on my keyboard. So with the healing brush selected, I'm going to enable this visualized dust spots option. And this is going to bring out a lot of that detail within the scene so that I can see all of those small blemishes within the sky. So with the healing brush, all I have to do is just paint onto these blemishes that I want to remove. And then I'll move the neighboring region into a similar area that I want to cover that blemish with. So I've cleaned up the sky, it's looking great now. And whether you're looking to leave the sky as is or you're looking to bring in a new sky, cleaning up the sky is always an excellent idea in your landscapes. And because we have a pretty dull sky here, I think we're going to swap it maybe later on in this edit, but I think for now it's looking okay as we head into the building and our foreground section and we style those a bit. So let's head into that area of the scene and with the blemishes removed here, let's use the super select AI tool to bring in the detail into the building and let's add in some saturation into our foreground flowers. So I'm going to grab my super select AI tool. I can grab that by hitting K on my keyboard. And now I can hover over different regions in my photograph. I can select them. And if I right click, I can apply an adjustment or a filter to them. So let's apply the dynamic contrast filter to the building. And we'll use the surreal preset inside of that filter to really make the detail pop. Let's now use the Super Select AI tool to select the foreground area, and I'll use the Color Enhancer filter with the Fall preset to make those yellows and those oranges really pop within the photo. Let's add one last filter onto the foreground, and let's use the Glow filter to apply a nice Orton Glow look.
I think one last thing that would really make this image stand out would be bringing in a new sky like we talked about earlier. Let's head into the sky tab and I'll use the category menu to choose these OcuDrone undeniably dramatic skies. There's tons of amazing skies built into Photo Raw and one of my favorites or my favorite categories rather has to be these dramatic ones from OcuDrone. So in the sky menu, let's use this to scroll to the dramatic sky six. This is my favorite one in the pack and I really love how it looks on this photograph. So now to match the look of the original photo, let's head down into the appearance section and I'll warm up the sky all the way to 100. We'll also brighten the sky up a bit to around 35. And let's lower the haze slider down to about negative 26. This will ensure that our sky matches up with the tones of our foreground. So the sky's looking great. Let's check out our original photograph. And it's looking awesome. That's how easy it is to fix and enhance older landscapes using On One Photo Raw.